Hey everybody, it's me, Robert Nichols from Boston Trust Realty Group. And today I wanna to talk to sellers about overpricing your home. The number one reason most sellers struggle to sell is pricing. When you overprice, it is dangerous. And here's why. The market will yield how much your property's worth. If you look at the comps, the numbers never lie. Now, a lot of sellers always say to me, well, I don't wanna underprice my home and leave money on the table, nor do I as your real estate agent. However, if you overprice it, Believe it or not, sometimes you may end up getting less because the initial buyers, the initial buzz, the initial offers typically are the best offers you're gonna get. And if you're stubborn and you don't accept or really seriously entertain those offers, you'll quickly realize that when push comes to shove and you have to sell, a lot of times those buyers, that initial interest is gone. They've moved on and found other properties. I had this happen to a client recently and just wanted to highlight that if you underprice your property, you definitely... Uh, are better suited to sell for top dollar because you create a buzz, you can potentially create a bidding war, and you don't have to worry about letting the property linger on the market. Market, However, when you overprice, it is really a dangerous game. I had a situation where my clients didn't want to entertain offers at a certain level. They got some great offers initially, thought it was too low, decided to hold out. A couple months went by, wanted me to revisit those buyers. Those buyers are long gone, folks. So tip of the day, if you're looking to sell, do not overprice it. Price it to sell it. Be aggressive. It's better to create a bidding war than to let your property linger on the market. I hope you found this information helpful. I'm Robert Nichols from Boston Trust Realty Group, and I hope you have a great day.